Hello, welcome back. We're talking about logistic regression. And uh, if this is the first time you're watching this series of videos, we're into effect modifiers, right? So you might be here specifically to learn about effect modifiers. In other words, you know, if that's the case, welcome. Uh, we'll get into that right now. If you know nothing about logistic regression and you've landed up on this video, you need to go back to the beginning of the series. It's on a playlist and you need to watch from the beginning because we'll catch you up real quick and you'll be a super duper expert before you know it. If you're watching my video content for the first time, by the way, you can access everything that's on the screen at the moment. There'll be a link on a card at the end of the video that you can click on and it'll give you access to this page here that you can see on this page, all of the code that I use is available if you, and you can cut and paste it straight into RStudio. There's also these little annotations that you can click on or just hover over and it'll explain the code as you go along. Um, and incidentally, all of this data that I use is from the ML Bench data set package. So if you install packages, ML uh, Bench, then you get access to this data set over here and you can replicate everything I do at home. It's the best way to learn. Okay, well, en enough said, let's jump right into effect modifiers. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. We already said this confounding effect that people that are older have higher glucose and that there's an element of confounding. And if I'm not going to re-explain what confounding is, go back and watch the previous video if you want to understand that. But and of course that that affects our results. You know, we need to adjust. Well, the model adjusts for that. But now, as well as older people having higher glucose, might it be possible that being older, you might have a slightly different physiology? and uh, the effect of glucose on the risk of diabetes. And, and by the way, um, I, sorry, I didn't say this. By the way, my apologies. We're talking about logistic regression. So let me just in 30 seconds say what that is, right? You've got an outcome variable, which is always binary, and you've got predictor variables, in this case, glucose, which for which there's some sort of relationship. So as things, you know, as glucose goes up, probability of diabetes goes up. In this data set, we're looking at diabetes is the outcome variable, yes or no, yes or no, blah, 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 and a whole lot of predictive variables. And I'm, I'm now talking about glucose and age. So sorry, I should have said that right in the beginning, uh, but most of you have been watching the series, so you, that'll stand to reason. Now, imagine that, um, uh, that as you get older, your actual physiology changes. So not only do older people have more glucose or you know, high likelihood of having glucose, but the way your body uses glucose or metabolizes it or your physiology changes, right? 